Today's the day we are drawing Tom Riddle. This is requested a few times by Harshiel. Hopefully I pronounced that correctly. Thank you for your patience. So let's get started with his head. So I made him have more, not just a round head, but his is more boxy. So we're just gonna put a line on each side, parallel lines. Then we're gonna make a sharper chin down here. And then at the bottom, it's just gonna go across. Bam, at the top part, We'll just make it rounded across the top, okay? So we will make a line down the middle and a line across the middle. Whoop. On that line, we're gonna do his eyes. I made him have more of a, yeah, I'm gonna get in trouble look. So we're gonna go make a bowl on this side and a bowl on this side. And then I just made his upper lid. Now when I sharpie it, I'm gonna sharpie it thicker. And then I just put a line across the top. Whoop. Now his eyebrows definitely look like they're getting in trouble. So we're gonna go up and down. And if you want, you can put in some lines in there. And then I put extra crease line right here. So let's do his other eyebrow. And I'll put some lines in there. And then another crease. Okay, so inside here, we're going to put another half circle. And inside that half circle, we will do partial circle and his pupil. He's looking villainous. Okay, so now we're having, since his face is so long, we're gonna be making his nose down here and his mouth right there. So now we can erase that center T-bar. And we'll fully erase it once we do all of our erasing. But now we know this is where his mouth, I'm not making him a smile. And then he just has a bottom lip. Okay, so for his nose, I'm gonna make it slightly come down and it's gonna come up and then we're just gonna make a line right here. I might erase some more of this in here, okay. Okay, there's his nose. Um, so what else do we have? I think that's it for the face. Now we're gonna put the eyes in. So you can, I mean the ears. We can put the ears coming out from where the eyes are. And he's got some major sideburns. So those will be in there when we do the hair. But we've got the ears coming out. We got them coming out over here. All right, I have learned a lot of fun facts. Well, most of them I kind of knew because I'm a Harry Potter freak. And so this is his neck coming down. And for his hair, oh, he's got a great hairstyle. So coming off of our, our line right here, this is gonna be that big. Oh, first let's make the line across here. So his hairline comes down and then he's got this gigantic, awesome wave that's gonna come down and you're gonna make it go all the way down, almost touching his eyebrow, up and down and up. So it's like a roller coaster. Ooh, so now it's a race in here. We don't need any of this. So erase all that. And then now you wanna put in all those lines. So he's gonna have, it's almost like a wave of hair. You'll be sharpening a lot in there. And then you can make a wave come over like this. We'll be sharpening that in. And then he's got a wave coming right off of the top here. So it's gonna go over, made a wave, and make it connect where his sideburns are. This one you wanna make come down and then connect, okay? Now we can start putting in his lines. You can put as many lines as you want in there, okay? We'll do the same thing on this side. If I'm going too fast, no worries. It's called the pause button. So you can pause it, rewind it, so you can catch up, okay? I do it because I only have so many minutes to do this because my videos get too long, okay? That's his cool looking hair. That's cool hair. You can add some more lines in there. All right, let us do, let us, <laughs> let's do his body. So we're gonna put his collar, it's gonna come around like this. And then in the middle here, this is the, his collar, it's gonna come up. Now we're having his jacket come over. So from the, that line right here, we're gonna make his jacket come down. And then this is gonna come up. And he's wearing his sweater. So his sweater is gonna make it come down into a V. 
Okay, now his tie, I love doing ties. So it's just gonna be two lines coming down, connect it, and then make them go down. Awesome. I can imagine that he was a sharp dresser. Like, he always wanted to look good. So I'm just doing double lines, and then more double lines. There he is. And he'll have his Slytherin tie on. So coming out of his shirt, we are gonna have his, it's like his, um, his robes. It's like the hood of the robe. I haven't done this part yet because we're gonna be putting in his diary. All right, so we're gonna put his shoulders off here. So Tom Riddle is also known as Voldemort or he who must not be named. This is his shoulders. All right, so we have his book right here in the middle. So underneath here, we're gonna do a line and then do two lines down. And they're kind of coming together a little bit and then we'll put a line at the bottom. So this is the beginning of the book. So we're gonna have a book come out on this side and a book come out on that side. And then we'll put the pages in here. I'm gonna come like this. And then we'll bring them in. And you can put lots of pages in there if you want with your thin Sharpie. Thin, super thin, ultra fine. Okay. All right, we're gonna put its hands in there. So I want for you, cause he's holding the book. I guess we can draw the book in there. This is his whole book. Okay, so he's got his, his diary. And let's put a, a square, a rounded square on either side. Okay, those are his hands. So we can erase inside there. Now we're gonna put the fingers off them. So his thumb is going on the side of the book and then he has his fingers. One, two, three, four, and bring it back. Now you can erase this line in there. So just do the same thing, oh, and in here too. Do the same thing on this one. So he's got his thumb on the side of the book and then he's got one, two, three, four, and then erase in there. Super job. Okay. So now we've got, that's like his sleeve. So do the same thing on this side. It's gonna be one, two, and then we have his cloak coming off there. So we'll just make this go down. And if you want, you can make this go through. So it goes here, jump over and bring it down. So this one, jump over the book and bring it down. Okay. Well, one thing that we're forgetting here is his, um, if you want to bring the hands in, you can, like I did. If you see how it looks more like the hands are going in. I'm gonna erase some of this. So it's not two things. And then for his sweater vest, all right, so you wanna stay tuned because I've got some more amazing facts. So we're gonna Sharpie this and then come back with some more amazing facts you're gonna wanna hear about. So let us begin sharpening. So what I used was, this is my ultra fine point. I did everything and then I'm gonna outline it and then Sharpie in the black parts. This was my fine point. So let's get started. So now I'm getting my fine Sharpie to do all the rest of the black. Thank you. 
So take your eraser and erase. All right, so we're gonna get started and we're gonna do his whole face in peach and then we'll do some highlights. So do the whole thing peach. What else do we know? Um, so even though Tom Riddle talked about the only wizards that should really be around are pure bloods. Pure bloods means uh, that both mom and dad uh, have a winner, uh, are wizards. So they've got pure wizarding blood from both lines coming from them. That Tom was actually a half blood. Oh. So he, uh, he was what he was what he hated interesting because his mom was a wizard a witch and his dad was a muggle which means they're just um just regular people like us okay so don't forget the ears got the other ear over here and the hands don't forget those you know i'm just gonna do half of him okay because this took for a long time okay so we've got the hand one color. So what you're going to come in and do is you're going to give it the shadows. So you're going to go around the eyes, go around the nose, just do one side. So we're just doing this nose uh, under there and under the chin and around where the Sharpie is. And we're going to make this even darker, but this is going to be under there and inside here. What else? Oh, you're going to come up here underneath his hairline. Um, so during Tom's teen years, he worked at Borgen and Burke's Magic Shop. That's that scary, scary one in Diagon Alley. Bad one, Ooh, scary. So after you've done that, you can give it a little extra round here. And now what you're gonna wanna do is take the tan, and then now we're gonna give it some more detail. So I'm giving him an under eye. I'm gonna go around the eye one more time with the tan. So when he was working there um, in customer service, he also started collecting his magical items, the things he would use as his later become his horse crux. It's quite that mouthful right there. Some items that he got from there because they had all sorts of crazy stuff in that magic shop that Harry by chance, by accident, went to. Didn't mean to. He just said the wrong thing, and so when he took the flu powder, it took him the wrong place. Okay, so we're gonna be going there. Oh, go under his, around his nose, under make the shadow under the nose. Okay, so now what you're gonna do with the pink, we are gonna put a little bit of pink on his cheeks so he doesn't look dead, and pink on the bottom lip. And I'm gonna put a touch of pink on his nose. Okay, now for his eyes, oh, I forgot blue. You can get any color blue. I'm gonna get, this is sky, light blue. So you're gonna do darker at the top and then lighter at the bottom. Do you guys remember how many, did he have seven horse crooks? I'll have to try to remember all of them. Okay, and his eyebrow, we're gonna make, he has black hair. So we're gonna make his hair, do his eyebrow black. And then you're gonna get gray and give him a little shadow under here on his his eye. There we go. Yes, that looks great. His hair is black, so we're just going to color it in black. You could also put some extra hairs in here with your black pencil. Oops, I just broke my black pencil. Oh, dude. Can I color with it? Oh, I'm still coloring with it. Oh, no, it died. Let me go find another one. All right, I have a fixed pencil. So we're gonna color all of this in black. And then you can put some extra hairs in here. Let me color all of the hair up here black. I'm just gonna go to here. And you wanna go underneath here darker. So it looks like it's like the shadow underneath the hair. All right, and his eyebrows are dark. Um, his sweater is black, The this part of the sweater. What else do I know? Um, oh, Tom. Tom's mom, before he was born, she was a witch and she put a spell on the dad 
to love her. And he finally found out that he had a spell put on him. And so he left her and took the money. So she had nothing. So she, and then she found out she was pregnant with Tom. She went to an orphanage and she gave birth there and then died right after that from complications. So he was born in an orphanage and stayed in an orphanage. And while he was in that orphanage, he was a very, very naughty boy. So naughty. All the other kids were scared of him, which if I was there, I would be totally scared of him. So you're like, well, what could, what would he do? Well, he would use, he knew he had parcel tongue. So he would kind of scare the other kids with his parcel tongue speaking snake. And he would do mean things like he would get the pet rabbits from other people and he would hang them up, hang them. Just, he just wasn't a very nice boy. I think he also, I can't remember, threw a boy off a cliff. I don't know, he just was a naughty, naughty boy. Okay, so now you wanna put black here. This is his part of his, oh, I did the whole darn thing. Oh, ooh. And so now we are going to take gray. Gray's gonna go in here. And you wanna put gray underneath the tie. You can also put a little gray back here. And then I would say, take the dark green and because of course we all know that Slytherin house is green and silver and has black, so so appropriate, right? Like a snake, because they're simple as a snake. Okay, um, that part is done, hands done. If you want to take the gray, you can put it inside here, and then also if you want to take your black and just kind of make it come out like this. Ooh, that's what I'm forgetting, the book. I'm like, why does it look different? You also can put some tan um, in his hands. I actually think Tom Riddle was, he was a handsome young man. He was naughty though. So you're gonna take the golden yellow because the leaves are like old. You take the golden yellow and you're going to color those. Then you want to take the tan or a brown and then just kind of give it a little bit more on the edges. Make it extra dirty. Okay, I think you guys can do the rest by yourself. Hope you guys enjoyed that and have an amazing day. See ya.